by the end of the first day, it was around 10 o'clock at night, we had 29 cats. Um, and then over the course of the next two and a half days, it got up to 42. A fire inside an Evanston home revealed an horrific hoarding situation. Dozens of house cats were also found inside. And now it's overwhelming the local animal shelter. Natalie is back with more. Natalie. The Evanston Animal Shelter is exhausting every resource they have to care for these cats, including renting out additional space. How much are those cats in the window? The Evanston Animal Shelter will give you a two for one deal. <laughs> It all started here in August. The shelter got a call of six to eight cats that needed homes. But when they stepped inside. I stood there for a minute and I saw all these faces looking at me. And I started to cry for a minute. <laughs> and I turned around and I said, okay, this is, this is very different from anything we've ever dealt with. Four days of work uncovered 42 cats. As is often the case in hoarder houses, there was a lot of inbreeding, so there were like a lot of orange cats, a lot. Of, <laughs> it was hard to tell them apart. They decided to call them the ice cream cats, 31 ish flavors of feline love. There's black walnut, cotton candy, coffee, and lemon custard, to name a few. These are some of the best cats I have come across at the shelter in the six or seven years I've been there. But they needed lots of TLC when they were scooped up, including vaccines, spays and neuters, antibiotics, teeth cleanings and extractions. There's 300 cans of cat food a week, <laughs> a couple hundred pounds of cat litter. It has added up to about $25,000 for the tiny shelter. They're also paying rent for this storefront down the street because there isn't enough space in the shelter. We never gave it a second thought. <laughs> we never sat down and said, well, can we do this? Their teeth are falling out. Can we do anything about it? It just was, it happened. And now, yeah. They're offering a discount of $150 for two cats since they like to be together. And if you can't make a permanent commitment, they are also looking for foster homes. For more information, you can head to evanstonanimalshelter.net. And Corey, you know I would take every single one of them, yeah. but my <laughs> husband would leave me. <laughs> no, tough call. Natalie, thanks very much.